Hello, I want to talk to you today about a water sterilization system for dentists which sterilizes the water right before it goes into the patient's mouth. So there's no long line of the water getting dirty again. What I'm talking to you about here has little or nothing to do with making you more money. I'm, by the way, uh, Helmut Flash, and I'm a marketing consultant to dentists, and my job is to help you make more money, uh, to get more new patients, cheap in an expensive way. So how does what I'm just telling you help you uh, in that way? Maybe not at all, and then again, maybe quite heavy. Um, most importantly is that it is, however, something which is good for you and for the patients, uh, something which eventually uh, the law will require you to have in some format already and probably already do something about it. Probably you have some sterilization system. Let me tell you how to really use it powerful. Okay, there are some systems out there and the one I'm uh, recommending you here, which those people have gotten the idea that the system should be perfectly beautifully displayed like literally a wall unit like built into the wall or sticking out whichever way uh, it's doable so that that actually your patients by walking into your office or by walking into your treatment room see it and of course you your assistants point it out and you point out that Mr. Patient you're getting the most absolute like super over the tops, the real water into your mouth. And the reason this is important, with the reason we tell you is because when we drill in there, there always is, as you well know, blood going around, just scraping uh, and cleaning your teeth. There is blood flowing around, and the mouth is the gateway to the blood vessels. Everything goes in there so fast. Most people today miss the patient, you say. Um, have a very relatively weakened immune system, be it the food we eat or whatever, it doesn't really matter, but they do. So, it is super important that anything going into your mouth is super sterile. Super sterile. People getting worried about getting the flu by just shaking people's hands, so they go knock your hand and all kinds of things. So you, Mr. Patient, can be assured in this practice you're getting the absolute most sterile water. You explain to them that, you know, water in the pipe gets bad because it stands there but not in your office. And as I said, they see the little units, the little filters, whatever the heck that stuff is. Uh, um, uh, I, I don't know, I'm, it's not my field. I just look at it. Yes, it's something one needs. Yes, it's going to make you no money, only cost you money. Um, and yes, it's like in a restaurant, a perfect, beautiful, gorgeous looking bathroom. It only costs you and yet it makes you money because people like it. This is the type of stuff you, the dentist, can actually differentiate yourself. Have you noticed how difficult it is for you to differentiate yourself? Telling you're doing the best dentistry, you're using the best uh, ceramics, you're using the best equipment, the best x-ray machine and you have uh, all the continuous education in the world and you graduated from the best dental school. Have you noticed how that differentiation doesn't really work? Start differentiating yourself which the other guy doesn't mention. He might have it but he doesn't mention it. Big difference. And you're going to do a show and tell. Why? Because especially the company I'm recommending you here, has a show and tell unit. I mean, it's the real unit, but it, it's made to be show and tell. You really should look into it. You really should check into it. It can, and I am sure it will, uh, pay for itself many times over with patients' referrals. Okay? Never mind the peace of mind that you really 100% do the absolute best you can do. You see, please, when I say that, do not think that whatever you do is good enough because the law. Probably it is. Probably it is. And it's probably good enough. In 1991, when there was a big problem with, um, um, or 92, something like that anyway, when there was a big problem with, uh, with, uh, with, with AIDS in Florida, okay, I had my clients, okay, pushing sterilization, heat sterilization like crazy. I had them giving seminars. They were written up in the local newspapers, including in, in, in papers like Dentistry Today. And their business boomed because of it, because the people out there went, 
He is taking care of it. We did that during a time when most other dentists, because we did it right away, the second it came out, we, when most other dentists and most other associations were still screaming, it couldn't happen, not possible, I don't think so, no way. I said to my clients, it doesn't matter. We're going to go full-fledged the other way, and we're going to educate the other dentists that they should do it, by simply saying they should. And it worked like a bomb. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, it's this type of stuff which differentiates you from your patients. It's that type of stuff which he remembers, okay? As much as your clean shoes or your dirty shoes, no matter how good your dentist you are, it's that type of bedside manner. Go for it. Check it out. It's well worth it, okay? I wish I could tell you that this equipment is going to be cheaper because I recommend it. Uh, no, it isn't. Um, the people I recommend it to don't even know I did it. Okay, at least not at this moment um, as I shoot this video. They eventually will find out. It's just something I believe is a good right direction. Okay, go for it. Bye-bye.